so many firework displays canceled last night, fire officials were at the ready for more people than ever before to be lighting off their own rockets. Eugene police did notice an uptick in illegal fireworks this year. KZI 9 News reporter Andrew Hobner is live at a local fireworks stand to break it all down for us. Andrew. Yeah, it was pretty hard to miss the noises of the neighborhoods all over Eugene, given the fireworks displays last night, especially, as you mentioned, so many demonstrations had been canceled because of the pandemic. I've been here two and a half years. I have never seen what I saw the other night on the 4th of July. Now, officials that we spoke to did give us the following. They were expecting more people than ever to be picking up fireworks to use on their own, and the celebrations last night did not disappoint. In fact, one fireworks vendor told us yesterday that they've never seen anything like it. Between all of their locations, they say they've done around a million dollars in sales. And that apparently goes for illegal fireworks as well. The Eugene police tell us they got 116 calls regarding illegal fireworks last night. That's up from just 40 calls in 2019, but pretty close to the 2018 number at 114 calls for service. Officials say the fireworks put a strain on all first responders, and one resident we spoke to today heard the fireworks and tells us it puts a strain on many other people as well. It's always noisy in my neighborhood, and I'm not saying that I don't love fireworks. I love them. I just don't like them uncontrolled out where I live. And she says that she lives near mobile homes and she's concerned about how easy it would be to accidentally start a fire. And now that the 4th of July is over, it is, of course, illegal for fireworks to be fired within the city limits. But sales will continue here through the 6th. Now, a fine for illegal fireworks is about $250. Reporting in Eugene, Andrew Hobner, KZI 9 News.